What's good guys, your boy Aaron's here. I'm here with my boy Tommy. You may have seen our last video when we did a bag challenge. We got a lot of heat on that. You guys thought we were being biased. We were being biased. You know, we're trying to sell you our bag by highlighting how it is better than the other bags that are available on the market. Some of those comments were kind of whack though. Tommy, hit me with some of those comments, dude. <laughs> this guy sounds like a duck. Didn't even look like he's really hitting it hard at all. Okay. Well, I mean, I was going ham, but I did sound like a duck, so that's fair. So it looks like you didn't even fill the other bags. This is a biased review. Let us do another challenge today and try to level out the playing field. We're gonna make this as honest as possible. We filled all these bags with sand and water to the brim. Homie sounded like a Street Fighter character. That's a compliment, I'll take that. Aaron's grunting was something else, LOL. We get that you're irrelevant, but that doesn't mean you do biased advertisements dressed up as reviews, Aaron. Kickboxer sounds like my grandma. Okay, your grandma's a savage. Dark Spectro. Enough, enough. <laughs> Let's get into this. I'm not done yet. We have three bags here, and today we have three very heavy hitters coming in to test these bags. Three big mother yeah. So they're gonna be hitting this thing for one minute and they're gonna be judging it based on how well it performs while they're doing this boxing or kickboxing workout. Now, Aaron, when it comes to a heavy bag, what are some performance factors to look out for? How much does the bag move? How much noise does it make? How much does it tilt when you hit it? And lastly, how does it feel when you hit it? That's the most important thing right there. Remember to subscribe in the link below if you're interested in more boxing and kickboxing videos just like this. Now we're gonna start with the Everlast Elite bag. Mike's gonna hit it for one minute straight. PJ, you ready? Okay. Let's get started in three, two, one. Damn, PJ, the bag picked you up. No. That's 10 seconds down. measure how far he moved that thing. So when it started, we had it right here on the edge of this tape. And he moved it about 32 inches in a minute. 32 inches. So you got 54 line. inches. Is that straight? Yeah, straight, 54 inches. 54, okay. Yep. What are we at, Tommy? 27 inches. All right, he moved it 27 inches. All right, PJ, next up is the fight camp bag. Now, I want you to go all out. I want you to really hit this thing because okay. people talk a lot of sh on YouTube. Yeah. They say that we're faking it or whatever. Somebody's not really hitting it. I want you to hit this thing as hard as you can. We got a lot in common. You know, I've been lifting. I've been doing a little CrossFit. So let's do a little comparison right here. I'm getting You know there. what I'm saying? About the same, right? Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Let the man work. Okay, let the man work. One minute, everything you got, dog. Three, two, one. Out of the square, PJ. Get out of the square. Give me some knees. Bang. Bang. That's 10 seconds. Bang. As hard as you can, Bang. man. Come on, you can hit it harder, right? Bang. 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 Let's go. Let's 20 go. seconds down. Now power. Not power. Mike, people are gonna say he wasn't hitting this thing as hard as he could. That's what they're gonna say. I can see it now. Nobody can move this bag yet. Can Mike move the bag? Come on, man. You can move this, Pete. Come on. 215 pounds. Come on, push, 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 push. You need to dig, dig hard shots to the head. Right. Right. Spinning go. back kick. Right. 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 Ten seconds. All right. You got it, brother. Right. Right. Five, four, three, two, push, 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 one. one. Take measure, Aaron. I don't even need it. Let's just put it away because the bag didn't move. I don't think we're gonna need that. Nobody can move this bag. Yeah, I don't think I need the tape measure right now. It's the bag's still in place, of course. 
the bag didn't move because it's sitting in our bag ring and just because it's sturdier, right? And everyone's gonna be like, oh, but the other bags, you didn't put it in that thing. Well, it doesn't come with the other bag. We invented it for our bag, it fits our bag, the other bags don't have it, it's our invention. We got our third and final bag, the Everlast Power Core right here. It's a little, little spring action on it. I think PJ's a little tired. We didn't give you too much of a rest. So you probably shouldn't be able to move this one that much. Okay. No, all right, hey, let's get okay. started. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We'll cut that out of the edit. Make sure it's secure. Oh, come on, man. We're gonna have to go a little shorter because I think it pops up. It's interesting with the swivel. How do I get the, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that will do. All right, ready, set, go. 20 seconds. Set. It's got kind of like a little like lock system, but then when you're hitting it, it's popping it out of the lock system and putting it in the, the roof bar and it's popping it out. But just hit it with no overcut. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go! Straight punch is over. Again, uh, Fight Camp's our company, um, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, don't buy this bag. All right, this time we'll use the tape measure. Let's see where we're at here. 24 inches, which makes sense. I think this one held a little bit more sand if I remember properly. And it also has the spring, which absorbs a lot of the shock. You only moved it 21 inches. 21 inches, you moved it a lot less than the Everlast Elite. And we got 36 inches. 36 inches and a little to the left, too. We measured the distance that they all moved, right? We saw how much each one was tilting and slamming back on the ground uh, when they were getting hit. It was a fight cam trick, right? Like, we're not gonna hide that. Like, this is a fight cam video. We're trying to promote the fight camp bag, but honestly, which one did you like him better? Like, I really wanna know. The fight camp bag, and the reason why I say the fight camp bag, cause you can hit low, you can do low kicks. You can do knees. Everything that you can't do on this Everlast, the first one, and the third one, for sure, the fight cam bag was head above all these other guys. Uh, I literally. could throw, literally, <laughs> I could throw punches to the body, punches up top, and it did not move anywhere. It almost got me a little frustrated. You can't kick the legs with here or you will hit plastic. And if you hit plastic, you're gonna cut yourself up. So I love this for number one because of that. Because I landed a couple good uppercuts, this thing started to bend and shake, and then the top came off. Can't deal with that. Top makes for a good on. seat, though. Yeah, it looks like a comfortable seat. Not a good heavy bag, if you ask my opinion. Mike, like, no BS. People are gonna say, oh, they're just trying to promote their bag. No BS at all. Which one did you like the best? We really want to know. I mean, I, I, this is the one that didn't move, you know? So, and listen, I tried to move it. And I tried. Yeah. I got an ego. <laughs> like, I'll be the one to move it. I couldn't budget, so. Respect right here. And look, when I first got involved with Fight Camp, I thought that this was gonna be like that, like Mickey Mouse, mm -hmm. Walmart level, mm -hmm. you know. But I was like shocked, oh, yo, I got a good workout, right? And the credibility is in you guys, real fighters. So that's huge, y'all should know that. These bags, I use Everlast gloves in my fights. Mm -hmm. They're puncher's gloves. Mm -hmm. But these bags are, maybe it's for kids, I don't know, mm -hmm. but you see, they're full of water or sand, they're heavy, mm -hmm. but they still move easy. And that's only one minute. Mm -hmm. You can't do a full workout on those bags mm -hmm. with re any real effort. So there you have it. If you have another bag you want us to test, send it our way, we'll buy it, we'll put it to the test. As a reminder, you know, a lot of you guys might be saying, oh, but they put the fight camp bag in that thing. 
That's our thing. We designed that. It doesn't go with the other bags. It's part of that bag, right? The Fight Camp bag, I'm gonna say it, it's the champion of freestanding bags. The best freestanding bag on the market by far. And if you're interested in connected boxing and kickboxing videos, you wanna get good workouts at home, click the link below. I wanna see you guys on the leaderboard. Thank you, Mike. Thank you're you, the man, bro. Appreciate Respect. Don't forget to subscribe.